Love Talk Radio. I'm going to a city that's set on a hill. Its ruler and maker is the Lord God above. Oh, I'm going to a city and it's set on a hill. And someday I'll be in heaven and there'll be no sorrow there. Oh, I'm going to a city at life. For- Hello, everybody. God bless you today. This is Susan Puzio. And we want to welcome you to the Prophetic News Radio broadcast on Blog Talk Radio. And don't forget our website, propheticnews.com, and our YouTube channel, which is under my name, Susan Puzio. And you can find uh, other videos and other information there. But anyway, I wanted to do an update on the death of Jan Crouch. We know that uh, Jan Crouch passed away. We don't really know exactly what day she passed away. Uh, Probably we'll never know uh, since it seems that uh, TBN does control the information. So uh, how she died or when she died, we probably won't get anything definitive on that. But I suspect, and this is only something I suspect, is that there will not be any type of public memorial because uh, Paul Crouch Jr., who was fired from TBN. Now, uh, let me say this. Um, On this program, I really try not to deal with rumors and gossip. Uh, We try to report the facts as they are. And uh, so, from credible sources, anyway, uh, Paul Jr. was fired from TBN. Uh, He did not leave on his own. There was a story that circulated this week in Charisma magazine, and I think the author was Jennifer LeClaire. But uh, when you try to post something, uh, comments on... uh, Charisma, and if they don't like your comment, they block you. If you say something which they consider negative about Jan Crouch, which is only the truth, and and uh, uh, it's coming from the family, the other side of the family. Uh, so these are not rumors, or uh, these are quotes from family members, but who all worked at TBN, the Paul uh, Paul Crouch Jr. and his children. Uh, Brittany and Brandon and he also has a daughter Kara I think she was too young to work there at the time but the story in Charisma that circulated this week uh, quotes that the Crouch is married in 1957 and have two sons Paul Jr. and Matthew both of whom were high-ranking officials and program hosts on TBN. Paul Jr. left TBN in 2011 where a memo was circulated at the network advising people he is leaving according to CBN. Now, she doesn't check with the uh, Crouch family. Uh, She just, she takes this quote uh, from CBN, but actually um, Paul Jr. was fired. So you can go to um, Jackie Alnor's channel on YouTube and listen to her conversation with the Crouch granddaughter. Uh, It's all there, her complete story of how uh, she was the chief financial officer there, and uh, she was fired because she tried to bring up the uh, financial improprieties there at TBN. So they fired their own granddaughter, um, and Paul Jr. was fired, but um, and he he didn't leave on his own. Uh, so I wish Charisma, if they're going to report news, I wish they would at least 
the sources and check with the family. Don't quote a source from CBN. What does CBN know? And uh, why can't we have two opinions over there at Charisma? What are you afraid of? Uh, Just because somebody posts comments after a story with facts from the family and they won't allow allow you to post. They remove your post and then they block you. So uh, why can't other people have a say? If somebody wants to say something on my channel, they can say what they want to say, uh, unless they're saying something, um, they're cursing or saying something pornographic or whatever. I, I remove those comments. But if people want to... Uh, tell me they don't like something I'm saying. I don't block them. It's ridiculous, honestly. Like, what are they afraid of? If you want to be a legitimate news source, could you please get the news correct? Um, But like I said, you can go to um, Scattered Sheep Report, scatteredsheepreport.blogspot.com, and you can read Jackie's excellent article there on the legacy, the true legacy of Jan Crouch. Now, there was a, also someone put up a story there, Karen Wheaton's daughter, and, and uh, I mean, Karen Wheaton seems like a nice, nice person, although she's heavily involved with TBN and their heresy, but uh, they, they put up a, co- uh, a story about the real Jan Crouch, but Jackie Alnor does a terrific job on her blog here is the true legacy of Jan Crouch. And you might want to go there and look at the text, especially the text message here from Brittany, Brittany Crouch, now the granddaughter of Jan and Paul and the daughter of Paul Crouch Jr. Granny has sued Brittany 14 times. She has uh, taken out 14 lawsuits against her granddaughter. Her granddaughter had to file for bankruptcy and uh, wound up losing everything. Uh, and not not only 14 lawsuits, but they were filed in nine different jurisdictions. So she has to keep going all over the place uh, for these lawsuits. So, uh, and not only that, they, they were spending uh, donor money on these lawsuits. And imagine. 14 lawsuits and the ex- the expense of filing these lawsuits, of sending the attorneys uh, to go after your granddaughter. So this is the true legacy. This is what is being left behind. And uh, also uh, Jackie states here that Paul Crouch Jr. found out that Jan died by news reports. No one called them, and Paul's calls to the TBN lawyers, Colby May and John Casoria, his cousin, were not returned when he tried to find his mother's whereabouts. So Paul Jr. wasn't even allowed to uh, know where his mother was. Uh, he wasn't allowed to say goodbye to her. Uh, he, he's, uh, he hasn't seen her in I don't know how many years. And even, even when she was dying... Uh, he could not see her. He was banned from seeing her. And uh, so that's why I suspect there will probably be, uh, they probably will not have a public memorial service for Jan Crouch because uh, they couldn't turn the family away. It wouldn't make good press if the other side of the family decides they want to attend uh, the memorial service. So how would they keep them out? But... Uh, and as far as TBN and uh, now Matt and Lori Crouch probably will own the whole thing, but it doesn't matter what we report in a sense. It is important uh, what we report, but in this sense that when God brings judgment on a ministry and uh when he decides that he's going to judge something, there's nothing anybody can do to stop it. So nobody will cause uh, TBN to be judged. And uh, our reporting and whatever anyone else does will not bring TBN down. God Almighty himself, if he decides 
to bring that ministry down and bring correction to that ministry. It will happen. There's nothing we can do about it. We saw it happen in the 1980s. Uh, if we, if some of us remember when uh, Jimmy Swaggart was judged and his deeds were uncovered, things that he probably never wanted to make public were made public. And remember also uh, Jim Baker when he was uncovered and God brought TBN down, I mean um, PTL down, and I visited there a few years after, and the place looked like a ghost town. Uh, so no matter what any human being does, and we, we try to do our best to point out heresy, and uh, my main objection with TBN and the other prosperity ministries is that they make Jesus look like uh, like a fool, really. What kind of Jesus do you present to the world when the Jesus you present is the Jesus that oh, you have to show him a $5 bill or a $100 bill, otherwise he won't do anything for you. That's not Jesus. That's not the Jesus that I know. That's not the, the Jesus that died on the cross for me and shed his blood for me. So I object to that. And I think that uh, any real Bible-believing Christian has to object to presenting that kind of Jesus to the world just to uh, get rich and to have ministries, which what kind of a ministry is it? What kind of a ministry is it that I've had people say on my YouTube channel, oh, TVN's done so much good, they've led so many people to the Lord. But what Lord? What Lord? What Lord are they leading them to? The Lord of the hundred dollar blessing and the and the thousand dollar blessing and the God that gives you everything you want if you just send us some money. No, I object, and uh, I think we should continue to object. So that's my update uh, on the death of Jan Crouch. Please go to the scattered sheep report dot blog dot uh, blogspot dot com and also. Listen to the interview yourself with Brittany Crouch, the granddaughter of Jan Crouch. Listen to her interview on Jackie Almore's YouTube channel because those are her words. Those are not my words. Uh, I'm not making things up. Uh, I don't know Brittany personally, but uh, I admire her courage and her testimony. Uh, she didn't have to do it. She could have stayed there at TBN and enjoyed the many benefits of working at a network that's worth a billion dollars. Uh, so those things are out there for you to read. And I think we should know those who labor among us, we should know those. And we should do everything we can to spread the real gospel of Jesus Christ and present the real Jesus to a lost and dying world. I think we must do that because truly the days are short. And there's so much deception in the church today, and we're just trying to do our small part. So God bless you, and uh, tune in again. I'm going to a city that's set on a hill. Its ruler and maker is the Lord God above. Oh, I'm going to a city. Set on a hill And someday I'll be in heaven And there'll be no sorrow there Oh, I'm going to a city It lies four square The gates are made of jasper And I'll see Jesus there I'm going to a city And it's set on a hill And someday I'll be in heaven There'll be no sorrow there I'm going to a city That's set on a hill It's ruler and maker is the Lord God above. I'm going to a city and it's set on a hill. And someday 
I'll be in heaven and there'll be no sorrow there. I'm going to a city, it lies four square. The gates are made of jasper and I'll see Jesus there. I'm going to a city and it's set on a hill. And someday I'll be in heaven and there'll be no sorrow there. Someday I'll be in heaven and there'll be no sorrow there.